Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can create an app prototype using Keynote. Now, this is a great idea. This originally came from Apple themselves. They they did uh, some great workshops on this and put some things out on Twitter. Um, and also, I'm gonna plug a good friend of mine um, who you can find on Twitter as Mr. Digitech Sabe. He's got a great book. Please check out the comments below. Um, he'll go into a lot more detail about how you can do this and how you can use this in the classroom. I'm just going to go over the how to get started and how you get Keynote set up for this. So let's jump into Keynote. Um, I'm going to start a new project. And realistically, it doesn't really matter what template you use for this because we're going to actually make a couple of changes to make sure this works for us. So I'm going to start with the black uh, basic template. And the first thing I need to do is change the screen size because what we want to do is replicate that this might be a mobile phone device with apps on it. Okay, so it looks a little bit more authentic to our learners. And to do that, I'm going to go to the three dots in the top corner and go to document setup. And here you can see you can change, you know, your, your setup, go back, you know, if you've chosen the wrong design in the first place. But I'm actually going to go to slide size where you can quickly change between the, the dimensions. And you could go for three by four, but actually what I've done is I've looked online to find out what the actual screen dimensions are for an iPhone 11. So I'm just gonna type those in here. These ones are 828 by 1792. And I think already I've done this the wrong way around. No, I haven't, there we go. So um, there we go, that's our dimensions. So this is what your phone screen would look like. Um, obviously we don't have the, the surround of the screen or anything, that's not really important at this point because we just wanted to replicate what, the, what would happen on the screen. So I'm happy with that, we tap done. And you'll see now that all of my templates have matched that style and that's quite a useful place to really start. Now I'm not gonna build a, a specific app at this point. I'm not gonna go into the whole design and, and what the purpose is. That in itself is the whole design challenge. Like why would I build the app? What does my app need to serve a purpose for? Who is it for? What sort of functions do I want it to have? That That's a whole session in itself. And again, that that's where um, Sabe's book um, will really help you. So again, I'm, I'm plugging it again. Go into the comment section, download his book. It really goes into a lot of detail about what you can do with this. I'm just going to go through the basics of how this works, though. So let's imagine I'm just going to you know take everything out pretty much of my home page here. I'm going to leave a bit of a title. It might just be a welcome to my app. And then on this page, I'm just going to very, very quickly just add in some shapes. Okay, so this shape here. And let's just quickly duplicate that. So we got another. And, and the the lines here are great, right? Because it just really helps you just have that alignment. So you don't have to worry too much about where everything's going. Just very quickly going to make like what would be a basic app, you know, when you turn on the app. And most apps, you know, have choices that you can go into. And I'm just replicating these as buttons. Okay, so this is the, the kind of first approach to building our app. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in a second page, uh, maybe with just, there we go, this one here. And I need to think about how would I go from this, if I tap on this icon, it's gonna take me to this page. And this is the, the simple process, okay? So if I just have some text within that box, I'm gonna highlight that text. And then I'm going to tap on link. So I've just tapped on the text, highlighted it. I'm now selecting that, selecting link. And here it's got lots and lots of options of where do you want to link it to. And I want to link it to slide. Although it is the next slide, I actually want to highlight. I want to link it to slide number two. So what's going to happen now if I play this, if I tap now on the screen, it takes me to slide number two. Now I don't have anything on slide number two, so let's just actually change this in here. Uh, 97, I'll just keep it as the percentage just so you can see that I've done that. Now if I go back again, 
tap on artifact, you see it takes me to 97%. Now, the key thing for, for your students to know here is that there is a process. And again, from a design point of view, you look at the process, like if I go to a page, what do I need to do to get back home? So another thing that you're gonna to want to add in on every single page is something that kind of highlights to them that they're gonna go home. So I'm just gonna have, you know, an obvious little home in the bottom here. And now what I want to do is make sure that if we tap on this, again, I'm gonna to go to link, and that's gonna link always to slide number one. So it's always gonna link back to slide number one. So now if I play this, Tap on App Fact, takes me here. Tap on Home, takes me back to the home screen. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to do is every single time you add in a new slide, regardless of what is on that slide, if you just select, copy, and paste, you don't need to recreate that every time. That has already copied all of those internal kind of links. So that's just going to take me home every single time. So that, again, just process, make sure you go through that. Okay, so in this one here, Let's say that we're going to add in, uh, let's take out that, add in a different picture just so you can see how this works. Uh, let's have um, this one here. I can get rid of that text on the screen. And let's change this text to then say um, Apple training, because that is what the picture is about. And I might want to you know, change the size of the text so you can see it all. Again, there's other videos on you know, how you would design these things a little bit differently. But again, I'm just going to select that text, select link, link to slide, and I'm linking to slide number three here. So link to slide number three. Tap play. And now you should start to see how I can move around this app. So app fact, home, Apple training, home. So basically we're just making... Um, just a really, really simple prototype of an app, but all you're using is hyperlinks to jump from one page to the next and taking it out of the sequence of this being um, a process of going, you know, one to one to ten or whatever it might be. We're now making something which can go one to three, three to two, two to seven, however you want to navigate around it. All it's up to you to do then really as the educator is to think about what content do I want to put in this? Some ideas that I've done with my students, we've used this for helping students understand colours in a different language. So because I teach in Wales, one that we've used is, you know, what are the different colours? What are the things in those colours? What words would be used for those colours, etc.? So something for younger learners to express themselves. I've seen this as a whole design technology piece about, you know, a process. How do we build something? And um, you, I've done one as a food you know what food have I got in the fridge and what menus what recipes could I build there's so much you can do with this um, it could even just be a factual app you know we've learned all about a topic in history and now I'm going to build an app to demonstrate my knowledge of those things it could include timelines um, events videos from something creations that you've made as a class and you put that all on your home page here you know things I've made facts I know about 1066 whatever it might be and then the teacher can mark this instead of marking, you know, reams and reams of work in a book. They get your app and they play through the app and they think, oh, yeah, that's, that's good. But it, there's kind of a, a more authentic purpose to this. It's, it's about making an app. It's a bit more engaging than just writing facts down on a piece of paper. And hopefully it's something that students would enjoy to do as well. So that's it. Really, really simple. How to get started with app prototyping within Keynote.